Oh, dog, welcome to my YouTube channel, Shells Talk. Man, let's get into it, bro. So I know a lot of people probably been watching Kwame Brown lately and shit, man. And uh, you know me, I try to keep shit mainly Detroit with this channel, but you know I mainly I touch out to other things, but we still gonna keep it with how we keep it. You feel me? But uh, why Jalen Rose didn't disrespect Kwame Brown? Like how Detroit dudes is cut. Let's get into that. You know what I mean? Like where we come from, bro, we know where disrespect can lead to. You know what I'm saying? And um, when you make it from a city like where we from, bro, niggas ain't about to be just talking down on motherfuckers that then grind it to make it in any type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a lot of crab and a barrel shit going on in the city, but niggas ain't just about to go out their way to blatantly disrespect the motherfucker they don't even know like that. You feel me? All right, we sort of the type like, bro, you know what I mean? You brain drama this way, you going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just how we cut around this bitch. Jalen Rose went about to go on there and disrespect dog. You know, he said some real things. Like, man, he played 10 years in the league. You know what I'm saying? You got these analysts and shit. They talking about dog, but, oh, he a bust. He this and that. He trash. Woo, woo, woo. But these niggas can't even make a jump shot. You know what I'm saying? So Jalen Rose wasn't about to come out being somebody from Detroit, knowing where disrespect can lead to in the city that we from, bro. You know, we we know where disrespect can lead to in the city where we from, bro. Like, it get real around here, bro. Like, you can't, motherfuckers, you not just about to be disrespecting niggas around here, bro. Like, But that's why, um, you know what I mean? He ain't talked down on him until he a real man, dog. When you a real man, bro, you not just about to just be speaking down on no man. You know what I'm saying? You know how hard it is to reach success in life period bro it take it take a lot bro it take a lot to get to where to to the top i don't care like dog had to do something for him to get drafted number one even though he didn't ball out in the nba like he probably was supposed to he still did something to get drafted bro you know what i mean he got drafted he got money he took care of his people he got his people out of poverty bro and at the end of the day that's all that matter bro like, Detroit dudes, man, we just not cut like that, bro. I'm not about to talk down on you, bro. Like, I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even if you pay attention to a lot of our shit, dog, like, you don't really see, like, the young niggas, they may be out here nowadays just yelling at each other on the phone. But you even see some of them comments sometimes. Like, bro, yo, keep that shit off the internet or woo-woo. See, pull up. You know where we at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we not about to just be doing all that rah-rah talking shit, bro. We, if we got a problem with you, we going to get at you. Like, and that's just how it is around here, bro. Niggas ain't about to just be talking online all day and making all them videos. Because once you do that, somebody around here going to catch up to you. Some, I mean, they going to be looking at them videos. Bro, I'm not even about to post nothing. I'm just going to catch you, bro. Like, and that's just how Detroit niggas cut, bro. Like, we not, we not really on that, man. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, when it comes to the whole Kwame Brown situation, heck, no, Jay LaRose ain't about to talk down on dog. You know, he from Detroit, man. He know what it is. You know where we from, and he know how hard it is to make it where we from. What we look like talking down on somebody else, bro. I don't even know you. And I balled out in the league, too. Man, bro, look. He say, look, man, as long as you get drafted, I feel like that's an accomplishment. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I don't care who not balling or whatever, bro. You got drafted to the NBA, the NFL, man. That's an accomplishment, man. Even if you ain't really do nothing, it's still an accomplishment. You got some money. I'm pretty sure most people try to feed their people. Some people be dumb, and they splurge their money. But when it comes to that whole media outlet, the machine, dog, we already know what it's about, man. I be telling people all the time, bro, like, it's all a game. You know what I mean? Politics is a game. Media is a game, bro. I got a TikTok, and most of the people that sub to me find out about me on TikTok, bro, and it's a lot of people on there that's just brainwashed, man. I could make something about the city, and they'll start commenting, well, it's like this because the Democrats, woo, 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 woo. Or it's like this because the Republicans. And it's like, bro, y'all so stupid and brainwashed. The world is ran by rich people. Democrats and Republicans are getting paid by rich people who really govern and run the world. Y'all just brainwashing the society that we live in, bro. It's not a game out here. It's a game. Honestly, it really is a game. But it's not a game out here in life. You got to open your eyes up and really start to see what's really going on out here black people the things that we do even in our neighborhoods killing each other the drugs the single parent homes leaving their kids you was conditioned to be like that bro you was conditioned to hate your own bro you was conditioned to to shoot at your own people you was conditioned to leave your kids you it's conditioned for black women and black men to hate each other that's what they wanted when they put drugs in the community back in the day bro that hold that everything they did worked and then trick it's a trickle down effect and it trickled down and it messed up the whole community and it messed up the 
Everybody's just out here. Niggas is out here fucked up, except for the ones that's opening their eyes to reality, dog. You got to try not to get lost in this shit, bro. Keep your eyes open on what's really going on out here. Keep your eyes open on what's really going on, bro. It's deeper than what you think. Y'all niggas out here killing each other every day, bro. How do, how all these automatic, fully automatic weapons getting into the hood? I don't know not one nigga with a boat or a plane, bro. They getting there some way. They getting there somehow. It ain't coming from us. I don't know. Sh I don't know nobody that got a plane or a boat that can fly in a Russian AK. Come on, man. Condition, bro. Open your eyes, man. So. That's all I got to say right now, dog. Keep your eyes open. Shout out to Jalen Rose. Shout out to Kwame Brown, man. And to everybody out here, dog, try to keep your eyes open. Stay out these streets, man. It's your boy Shells, man. You already know what it is. I'm out.